Welcome back to Final Fantasy VIII, my friends, and we are about to head to the forest that's standing right in front of us, where a cutscene will start. Uh, Zell and Renoir are already waiting here for us, and we're about to have a discussion of on what we're going to do next. Well, we go down fighting selfie, that's what seeds do. Yeah, well, Zell, you shouldn't have opened your mouth, that's the problem. Even if he does, Galbadian soldiers are so weak that I'm pretty sure seeds can pretty much defeat them. Well, if we were there, no, they wouldn't. Without us, I'm not so sure. Shut up! Jesus Christ. I'm just being realistic. I mean, I have to agree with Squall here. No. Nope. You're giving him a headache. That headache. That's what you're giving him. So yeah, that's why I changed my junctions to Christie's and Selfie because they're the ones who go into the dream world with us during this sequence. Um, so we're forced to use them. Now this area, uh, the excavation site, uh, a lot of the decisions that we make during this part of the game will affect the game later on uh, in the sense that we'll be able to find a series of fight teams and draw points if we take uh, such certain measures during this segment. So I'm going to show you guys what we need to do uh, and the sync uh, and the order and in the order that we need to do things so that later on in the game uh, during disc 3 we'll be able to collect all the items uh, I have a bad feeling It is. Let's make sure that all our junctions are in order. They've already learned everything. Yep, we're good to go. We're going to have to fight uh, a few Esther soldiers in a little bit, but we'll be good because they're extremely weak. Unfortunately, we can't escape from these battles, as far as uh, I know. So we have no chance to, to. We have no choice but to fight, which unfortunately means that we learn um, a few experience points. But we'll be good. Here they come. Yeah, we really shouldn't be too worried. They're extremely weak. That won't do much. But we do have to finish them off, unfortunately, because we can't run from battle. That's right. One hit from either Laguna or Ward will kill it off, so we're good.
you weaklings. I love this team. Such a futuristic team, I think. Now Kairos is uh, being played, uh, or actually Kairos uh, as Selfies Junctions and Ward as Christie's Junctions. So that's why, uh, since I don't have anything Junction, or actually I don't have a Guardian Force that allows me to Junction Magic to my Strength stat with Kairos, that's why it deals a lot less damage than. Um, then Laguna and Ward, and we've learned Enkalf. Now Enkalf, um, by learning Enkalf, we'll be able to 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 learn Ink Nan. Now this is uh, obviously means encounter Nan, which means that we won't encounter any boss, uh, any enemies during uh, the world map, and when we're running around in dungeons and places like that. Uh, encounter half reduces our chances of encountering uh, a battle to half and I actually want to equip move find because there are some medium drop draw points here and I'm also going to equip encounter half so we reduce the chances of fights that we encounter okay so we're going forward um, and we're going there's a draw point here a confused draw point if I'm not mistaken that's right. And we're going down that set of ladders where we're going to find the first object that we need, which is uh, an old key. And its location is right by that metal bar. You'll notice it when you pass through. There we go. Pick it up. Um, and by picking up this old key, we'll be able to unlock uh, Ultima draw point uh, later on in the game. Uh, Laguna always loses the, the the old keys immediately, but they will open. Like I said, they will allow us to gain access to to a, an Ultima draw point, and the other old key that we're going to find gives us a Love Love G, which raises comp compatibility with all our Guardian forces. Okay, now the first thing we want to do is tamper with this um, with, with this uh, lever, and by opening, uh, by tampering with them, we'll be um, ga gaining access again to items and draw points. I believe that by Messing up, messing up the middle level lever. We're going to gain access to a silence draw point, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, uh, you'd be surprised, Ward. They're not very smart. Do it. Um, but you know we also want to tamper with the left and the right um, trapdoors which we'll be doing a bit later on oh my god I do believe that yep tamper with it as well and then you'll need to go all the way around and mess up uh, with the other one. Wait, I'm actually mistaken. Um, okay, we need to mess up the other one first. Now there's another old key here. Pick it up. Laguna loses it again, and like I said, this old key will grant us access to a Love Love G, 
which increases compatibility with all the guardian forces. And I do believe we need to go around and tamper with the other trapdoor. Random battle. And we do not want to fight, so we're running away. Let us go! Oh, finally! Let's go back up the stairs. And we'll have to go around again. It seems that this draw point has already reached recharged, which is awesome. Okay, now we want to go through here again so we can mess up the other trapdoor. No, thank you. We are not interested in fighting you today. Why don't they just run after us? It would seem, you know, something fairly easy for them to do. The draw point here seem to charge again really quickly. Not that we really need either sleep or confuse because we got plenty of items that give us those magics but it doesn't hurt okay let's mess up this trapdoor tamper with it Apparently we can't. So we're going to move out. Um, Man, it's start to run away from these guys. Okay, and we are going around again and we're going to tamper up with some boulders next. No, I want to go down. Ah. This controls sometimes. There we go. Uh oh. I didn't remember this little cutscene, this little piece of dialogue that they had between each other. I suppose uh, it only happens if we can climb down the first set of the first ladder first? I, I don't know. Run away! Uh, 
we're going back inside and I, I do believe that we have to mess up with the, deton the detonators first so let's see <sighs> we need to go up that's where the detonators are or where the detonator is actually we only have one detonator Ah, we got you now but we don't want to fight we're gonna run away because that's what we do okay now this is the detonator sequence um, So we want to mess up with uh, the red fuse first. Okay, so first the red one and then the blue one. And I do believe that by messing up the two that with the two detonators we'll uh, get a phoenix pinion and a power generator respectively nope Okay, now we're going to press the blue switch. <laughs> well, that was fast. But apparently the explosion isn't that powerful. See? They open up the two other trapdoors. That's that's what I figured. Okay, now we're heading up the stairs because there's one more boulder that we need to move. Oh, and by the way, guys, there's a monster here called Elastoid. Um, you can. If you defeat him, you can obtain steel pipes. Um, you know, I got them all by by by, by converting uh, Elastoid cards into steel pipes. But if you are not using card mod for some reason, uh, you might want to consider running around a little bit to find that monster and get a few steel pipes from him because they are very useful uh, for a side quest later on in the game, but also to upgrade some of your weapons. Okay, and this is the last boulder that we need to touch. There's there's a cure draw point here. Um, and later on, um, later on we'll find a speed junction scroll uh, in the place where the draw point uh, is currently located. Or actually, down the hold where the drop point is currently located and we've done everything that needs to be done here guys we got both hold keys which we lost as well we tempered with all trap doors so we're good to go um, and by by doing these uh, little actions we've also managed to reduce the number of enemies that we're going to encounter right now um, if you don't do anything, you can run up to f you can have up to five uh, battles with Esther soldiers. But since we blew up the, use the detonators, uh, move the boulders, and messed up the trap doors, we're absolutely good to go, and we'll only have to fight one battle. 
which won't be very hard because again our characters are very powerful. Adios. Apparently this enemy has one final attack before we can actually be victorious in the battle. Only 2 AP? Ah man, I thought this uh, special Esther soldiers gave a little bit more. Okay, so we've got, we've done everything, we're going to be able to obtain all the items that we need uh, in the, when we visit this area again, with Zell's party, uh, much, much, much later on, and Kair Ward is apparently, well, he lost his voice. I don't know why, the enemy didn't attack his trolls, but oh well. the kuchi kuchi treatment <laughs> did you just you know tickled a grown man <laughs> oh my uh I don't know if that's the best way to, to throw two injured, uh, almost dead men through a cliff isn't necessarily a good uh, idea, but oh well. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> oh, Laguna. He's such a fun character. Good morning, Squall. I couldn't even begin to explain you. What? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Let's just... Give ourselves a little bit of health. Doesn't hurt to have it. Um, and... I'm going to stop right here, guys. Uh, in the next segment, we're going to head to Galbadia Garden, which you can see right there. But before we do that, we're going to obtain another item for Squall's final weapon, which are the Dragon Fangs. So thank you so much for watching um, and take care.